Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are making this gorgeous little hexagon motif. Oh, I love, love, love. Now, okay, why are we making this motif? Because we are making a hexagon bag. Get excited. And these are the colours. And by the way, if you're joining us new, we have lives Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. every week. And in our live, I mentioned that there would be a dark blue and a red as well. I couldn't find a way to make it look nice. I liked this look. Okay, and that's the final look I came up with. And you will need, okay, let's see how much you will need. This is, or these I should say, are a 10 ply Bendigo Woolen Mills cotton. Now a 10 ply uh, overseas would be a number four and it calls for a 4.5 millimeter hook, which is uh, what I'm using. Uh, you will need scissors, you will need your darning needle and you will need one stitch marker this is called the solid hexagon motif all right so it's a very basic motif i decided to leave it basic so that our newbies can enjoy making a bag as well as the regulars so there you go all right well, i'm not going to talk too much because believe it or not um it's not a very big tutorial so i'm going to get through it as quickly as possible just to let you know uh roughly for the bag you will need about 45 grams of your very lightest color uh, 45 to about 47 of this color and for this one here you will need roughly 80 grams because we are doing the middle section with this color we are doing the border row with this color we are joining it with this color and we are also making the handles in this color so whatever color you want to use for your middle and your border row that will be the colors we'll be using for the handles as well so whatever colors you decide keep it focused on that so you know that these two colors will be the ones that we'll be using for the handles as well ah uh, get excited but today we're not doing the handles we are just doing the hexagon solid motif good luck guys Alrighty guys, we're going to start off by using uh, this, this blue. It's called the, me well, I call it the medium blue. Okay, so we're going to wrap that around our finger once and twice, holding it there, grabbing your working end, passing it over your finger, hold it there, grabbing the other end, passing it all the way over, pop your hook in, and you have just formed a slip knot. Alright, easy, easy, so far. Alright, now you're going to chain three and a chain is yarn over your hook pull a loop through once yarn over twice yarn over three times from here we're going to slip stitch into that very first chain that we made pop your hook in i grab a loop pull it through and just give that work a bit of a tug so you can see that little thread in there and pull that through to the loop on your hook and you're keeping all that open because we're going to work in that in a minute all right but for now we're going to chain up another three yarn over your hook once and twice and three times now we're going to do a double crochet and it's yarn over your hook and it goes right in that space we just made if you've lost it just you know give everything a bit of a stretch pop your hook in the space pull a loop through you should have one two three Yarn over, pull through two, two left, yarn over, pull through the last two. In these rounds, all of the rounds we're about to do today, the chain three will act as a double crochet. Okay, so now we're chaining two, one and two. And we are doing two double crochets, chain two, and we're doing that five times. So yarn over your hook, one double crochet in the center, three loops, yarn over two yarn over two we're going to do another one in the center pull a loop through three loops yarn over two yarn over the last two okay you've done your two double crochets now you need to do two chains one and two all right so you've got what we call these chains here it's a double crochet you've got two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two we're going to do that uh, four more times I nearly said three didn't I yarn over and let's just go for it one 
two, chain one and two. Let's get a bit of a close up for you. All right. And now we're going to do a second time of two double crochets. Chain one and two, and another two double crochets, which is your third time. Chain one and two, and another two double crochets, which is your fourth time. Oops, <laughs> one and two. So let me show you what you've done so you know where, where you're at. You've done your chains, which acts as a double crochet. So you've got two double crochets, chain two once, two, two, twice, two, two, three times, two, two, four times, two, two, five times, two, two, six times. So it gives you six corners. Now this corner needs to be joined, however. So all you're doing, I should have put a stitch marker in, but being the first round, it was a little tricky. That is the first double crochet that we made right next to it. See those loops right there? You need to pick up two loops, those two loops right next to that stitch. All right, not the stitch here, but two loops next to it. And all you did was put your hook in there. And now you're just going to pull the loop through like so and pull it through to the loop on your hook. Yes? Now you're going to pull up a loop, like so, and we're going to cut our work, like that. All right, super duper easy. All right, and now we grab our next colour, which is not the very, very lightest colour. Let's call this one dark blue, even though it's not really a dark one. And we'll call this one light blue, and then we'll call that little ghosty colour, I don't know, light blue lightest blue we'll call it ghost how's that <laughs> all right so um my regulars would know i don't like to start in the same corner that i ended off it doesn't matter there's no right or wrong way i'm just going to pop it in that second corner right there grabbing your tail end and just pulling it through see that little tail end passing it forward okay and we're going to chain one two three that will be classified as a double crochet you know in there you need to pop a stitch marker this is what i didn't do before which i should have so pop the stitch marker in that front loop there and the back loop and right underneath this should be like a third loop there okay from here we're going to chain another two so that's one and two then in the same corner we're going to put a double crochet so pop a double crochet over that tail if you want to you don't have to like so so what you should have is that look to so your chain threes and your chain two across there so it looks like a double crochet chain two so that actually looks like a normal corner even though it's not yeah all right from here we are going to start forming the sides of our hexagon see that little v there and that little v next to it they are the stitches that you need to go in so you're going to do a double crochet in each one of those little stitches and if you give it a tug you can actually see the little space that you need to go into okay so one double crochet in the first one one double crochet in your second one and that's it for the side now we're going to pop into the corner with a double crochet chain one and two and double crochet and that's the same as we're going to do in every corner and from here we're going to do our sides again and there's your first stitch one and there's your second stitch two now if you're anything like me and you've come to that corner this isn't necessary but i like to pop that thread under my fingers at the back and crochet over it whilst i'm in the corner i'm still going to weave that in as well but that's what i like to do and you don't have to it's not compulsory you can just leave it and weave it in later but i'm going to pop into that corner and do a double crochet and now i can drop that thread once it started 
chain one and two and a double crochet one two all right now from here you need to do your sides again so you've got your one two this one's a little tricky because it's got a knot in there okay but you still need to hop in there it's a fairly tight stitch do your double crochet in there one and then do a one double crochet in the next stitch and then you pop into the corner doing your double crochet chain one and two and double crochet that never changes that corner okay all the way through this project now there's your sides again one and two you're going to put a double crochet in your first stitch a double in your second stitch corner double crochet chain one and two and double crochet side one double crochet in the first stitch two double crochet that's sorry one double crochet in the second stitch hello um and in your corner here what are you doing a double crochet chain one and two and double crochet now here you still have a side before finishing off that will be classified as a corner so you need to get into that stitch and that stitch so you go one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet into your second stitch and guess what you are slip stitching right into the top of uh, right there it's not tight it's just you know awkward <laughs> slip stitch into the top of that stitch so you're pulling a loop through like that and pull it through to the loop on your hook pull up a loop and guess what we're changing colors yet again now let me explain what's going to happen over the next few rows okay i think we're doing uh, two more rows or three more rows let's have a look uh two more rows we've got super duper easy this piece okay all right every time you do a row you get into the corner and you do your double crochet chain two double crochet so in each round you are gaining two double crochets so when you go along the side in this round we're going to go one two three four double crochets on the side and then you're going to do a corner four along the side corner whereas before there was only two the next row will be six and then next row eight ten and whatever but we're only going to go up to six in our hexagon all right so let's grab the next color which you know it's called ghost sometimes i call it a light gray i do um it's kind of gray really it is but next to the blue it kind of looks like a light blue all right so grabbing a corner any corner you like very easy very easy pattern it's just a repeat round now the only thing that's different is that you've got more stitches in every round but every round is exactly the same chain one two and three grab your stitch marker okay from here we chain two one two and you do a double crochet in the same space and that is your first corner let's grab that tail at the back and now we are going to do one two three and four so we're going to do a double crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four whoops four all right easy You've come to a corner what do you do in a corner double crochet chain one and two and double crochet i th i think you're getting the picture i really do but we'll go across here because we've got a knot here okay so we've got one double crochet in that first stitch one in the second now between the third and the fourth is the knot there are two ways you can do this you can hold on to the back and crochet when you go into that very first stitch there or you can just leave it alone and just crochet in the stitches and weave it in later yours truly weaves it crochets it in as we go so yarn over the hook in the stitch and i'm dropping the tail now once it's in and through i drop the tail 
again not necessary and then jump into your next stitch remember there's four across here and that is a fairly tight stitch okay now in here we're going to put a double crochet chain one and two and a double crochet you know what I'm thinking you're getting the picture I'm not going to sit here and show you this round I think you can do it you do four double crochets across double crochet chain two four across double crochet chain two four across double crochet chain two do your one two three four across and i'll meet you up Alrighty, guys here we are at the end of the row we're going to slip stitch into that stitch right there nice and loose i've been doing well in this tutorial i've been leaving those chains nice and loose for us to slip stitch into usually they they're really tight and there you go pull a loop through like so pull up a loop you guessed it we're going to cut again why because we have our very last color for the round get too excited i told you this was going to be an easy tutorial seriously all right so grab the same color that we first started off with the the darkest blue i'm going to start it two spots before grabbing your uh, hook pulling your loop through like so you've done all this in the past few rounds so there we go chaining one two and three. Oh, i think i've done that one a little bit too tight <laughs> we'll find out at the end of the row oh it does look a little tight <laughs> all right chaining one and two and doing a double crochet in the corner right there just grab your tail end and popping it at the back now make sure you are getting that first stitch you can move your work over if you can't find it it's right there and it's one two three four five and yep it's six okay so we're gaining two in every round like I said we're only going up to our six uh, double crochets on the side and then we're popping our corner in there with a double crochet chain one and two and double crochet all right I'm not going to show you because I think you know this is so basic so go ahead let me get that up here do your six across one make sure you get into that first stitch right there one two three four five six now remember this is that tight stitch with a thread do your corner one double crochet chain two one double crochet six across corner six across corner and so on and so on when you get to the last side you should have one two three four five six double crochets get to that section there and i shall meet you up Alrighty, guys here i am at the end of the round let's have a look what we've got here check it out does it not look gorgeous i know i say that about everything don't i <laughs> oh, sorry all right here we go we are going to hello that's too far away there we go we're going to slip stitch at the end of this stitch right here and of course yours truly you know as usual I do mine all the way through I was doing them loose and then finally towards the end of the row I do it tight slip stitch into that third chain like we've been doing all along and if I could get that in it could work <laughs> oh I'm doing well today already all right pull that loop through Pull it through to the loop on your hook now remember this is our last round for the hexagon so just pull up a loop give your tail end a cut so there you go that's the end of your hexagon now let's just quickly just quickly do two ends for you okay one end i'm going to do where uh let's have a look right here right there where there's kind of um, we kind of left it in the middle there somewhere which is really awkward for weaving in so thread your needle all right okay now all right we came in through here from memory or around here somewhere there's your your chain stitches so we went over this way what we're going to do is just split a stitch there and go back the other way get into the center of your hexagon 
splitting the yarn. Now just check the front and I know you can see the needle there but you can't see it. Just make sure you can't see your needle here. All right? Okay, and there you go. And back the other way. Just checking again that you can't see the needle. Don't worry about that because that's just the back of it there. So you can't see it? All right. And that'll do, I think, three times, two times, three times, whatever will do. Give that a cut and you're done. We're still going to weave that end in. Seriously, I know you're thinking, what? But we crocheted over it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. We're going to weave it in again because yours truly is a stickler. Remember, we're at the back of the work and we are weaving through to the back of all this check the front make sure you can't see the needle here you can see it at the back but that's where the gaps are so don't worry about that it's just as long as you can't see it through the stitching okay oh, oh that's not working for me hello thread was too long i mean short <laughs> hello wake up here we go going through there that's a bit thick i might check it all good all good all right now guess what you think that's done yeah guess what you're going to go around the other way you're going to turn it around go back the other way in a different stitch now i literally just split oh i might even just skip that stitch completely and go through another stitched area not a lot just a little bit oh and it looks a bit thick to me no nope. all good all good and there you go i think that's plenty three times is plenty it's not going to come off in the wash doesn't matter too much because it's going to be inside the bag and you won't notice it but you still like it to be neat all right so i'm not going to show you anymore i think you know what you're doing head off on your own and weave in all these ends and now get ready for some instructions all right let's pretend that all these ends and we'll just hide them all under there Shh, don't tell them they won't know and there you go all right now head off on your own and do 20 more just like this all right once you have your 20 done same colors you can you know what you can change your colors if you like you can mix and match it's entirely up to you so head off on your own and do 20 more meet me back here on monday and we will join your hexagons together and finish off the bag so we're going to join them together we're going to finish off the top part so give it a bit of a nice border on the top and then we're going to do some handles all right so go ahead and do your 20 squares and i will meet you up here on monday don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys already do for me <laughs> and um, don't forget to join us on our lives at 4 p.m wednesday afternoon and 10 a.m saturday mornings and that's melbourne australia time every week so that we can talk about our projects plus talk about what's happening in the future for wow crochet designs thank you so much for watching and what a gorgeous hexagon i'll see you on monday or saturday <laughs> ciao for now